Hi, today I am going to show you a really interesting machine from Chinese company called Ortur. Actually, in this case, I have the Ortur Aufero CNC engraver machine, as you can see. This is their latest version of this machine, and today I am going to show you uh, how this machine works, what programs, especially free ones, you need to have to start since uh, the engraving procedure and of course and uh, at end of video I'm going to show you what kind of quality you can expect so let's start so basically as you can see the machine is already assembled and believe me it's quite easy to do that because you will receive the user manual for this procedure now I'm going to say a few words about build quality and design of this machine. As you can see, the machine itself, it is not too big and it does not take too much space on your working area. Besides that, it weighs approximately 10 kilograms, so the weight is quite normal. But first of all, I'd like to say that this CNC Engraver is made from solid construction because every part of this machine is made from solid metal. It's really solid and great quality. So, as you can see, every single part of this machine is made from metal and you don't need to worry about it will will something break or not because it's made from good quality materials besides that i'd like to say a few words about some additional components of this machine for example this portable control box this white box is portable and with this device you can completely uh, operate with cnc machine so basically you can adjust settings uh, different kind of settings can be adjusted but also you can update firmware reboot device all completely reset settings uh, it's quite useful and quite easy to use it so basically if you'd like you can also use this device for operation of CNC machine and if you don't want steel you can normally connect your device with USB cable to your computer and use it in a Windows operating system the second interesting thing about this device is that this device has this cool red button but first of all this red button is very useful in situations when something goes wrong so for example if you are doing something with a machine and during procedure something goes wrong and you want to cancel this procedure just hit this red button and the procedure will stop immediately so you're safe about that and the last but not less most important is this motor this is powerful motor for cnc procedures as you can see and below are drills which you install depending on what are you doing and on the other side of the device we have the motherboard which are all connections for usb cable for portable box for power adapter and it has power on off switch so basically that's it about this cnc machine in the next few minutes i'm going to show you which programs you can use for these procedures now i'm going to show you what programs you need to get started with cnc engraving so basically you need to have first of all program called candle 2 candle 2 is completely free program which is included on usb flash drive but also you can download from internet with this program you will connect with usb cable 
After that, you need to calibrate it. Calibration process is simple. And the calibration tutorial is included on USB flash drive. After you have done the calibration, with this program you are almost done. Uh, you will need only this program when you want to start engraving process, nothing else. So basically, for creating images, text or something else, you need another program. So basically, you need, for example, Autodesk Fusion 360. It is completely free if you select personal, not for commercial use. So basically, in this program, you can create many different uh, modules for CNC procedures, like this one. As you can see, it has many different options. Besides that, if you want to just uh, less complicated images or text create, you can then create that in, for example, in Photoshop or similar program. After that, you can use program called F engrave, F engrave, and then you can load open that image with text or Im uh, image and then you can adjust settings for engraving or carving. So basically you can adjust settings for your need and then after that save g-code and name the g-code file anything you want and again you can start procedure. So basically, you have two options. You can use Autodesk Fusion 360 or some similar program to create files. These files, after that, needs to be open with program Candle 2, file, open, select the file and click send. And then engraving process will start and it will say how much time it needs to be completed. The second option is to use Photoshop or similar programs, create images or texts. These images must be open with this program F and Grave, adjust settings, and then up again click save G-code. This G-code, again, you need to open with Candle 2 program. After you open this G code, again click send and the engraving, uh, CNC engraving process will start. So it's quite simple. You will mostly spend more time creating modules, texts, and anything else you wish to do. So that's it. In the next few minutes, I am going to show you how the CNC machine works and Stay tuned.
so as you can see this is my first try and as you can see it looks amazing I have used only normal settings but of course in program which you are using for CNC procedures you can always adjust settings the size the width the depth so basically on what are you doing you can always adjust a settings according your needs but as you can see this CNC machine can done a great job on wood but also it can work on solid plastics so basically it is multifunctional device in my personal experience and overall experience I can say that this Ortur CNC machine is great choice if you're looking for this kind of device because it's made from high quality materials but besides that it is not too expensive and at the same time it is great for beginners but also for professionals so overall you should definitely consider Ortur CNC machine thank you bye